Hey guys, I wanted to apologize about this rain. It is coming down, guys. Today's video, I wanted to talk about how to test your power sports battery or any battery that you have that you haven't tested in a while. You've had it a couple of years. You want to always stay on top of your batteries and test them. Well, I picked this puppy up from Amazon. It's a Iron Wee battery checker. And uh, this thing is actually pretty nice for 30 bucks that we paid for it. I have a link down below in the description. You'll definitely want to check that out. And keep this on hand. I'm going to show you how to use it and show you what to look for. So, my four wheeler, and oh, you see a moto guys? Stay down, stay tuned to the end because I have some specific CF Moto information for you guys but otherwise the rest of this information is very universal between any brand maker model uh, also cars and lawn tractors and everything else so my four wheelers battery it's the original battery from 2017 this season it, it finally took a poopy on me so got that long out of it this is 2021 can't complain on a stock battery but I picked up a mighty max battery from Amazon it was like 35 bucks this is a gel battery and let me explain quickly why gel batteries are much better this is also a deep cycle battery deep cycle batteries are also much better for your machine too but I want to talk real quick why gel batteries are better than a lead acid battery because the vibration and riding in the woods on your ATV or UTV over time it breaks down the lead plates inside and they, sh they will short out against each other that might be a small short or whatever you won't notice it but the machine the com these newer machines the computer systems will notice it and some of your stuff might start acting funky you might actually get O2 sensor codes, uh, injector codes, you can get all kinds of different codes. Some of them codes might say low voltage, etc, etc. So gel batteries are actually a lot better than lead acid because gel, there's, it's all packed, solid, nothing can move or vibrate around. Now, I want to say for, for those of you who say, you know your battery's good, you checked it. And you're getting those low voltage codes. Check your terminals, your connections. Sometimes these crack because they're lead. These ones aren't, they're steel, which is another nice feature. But the lead ones do crack over time and cause voltage issues. Also, a lot of people, they check their batteries with a voltage meter and it says 12.8 volts, 12.5 volts, 13 volts. And they assume that their battery's good. Well, truth be known, I'm in the automotive industry, I see this all the time. Truth be known, that even the world's worst bad battery can still hold voltage very well. But it can't hold CCA. What is CCA, you ask? Cold cranking amps. That is what we need to check in these batteries to make sure that they're still good. If your cold cranking amps is not what it's supposed to be, your battery is bad or going bad which will cause a lot of problems in the machines with the newer electronics in today's world so let's get into showing you how to check this battery so when checking your power sports battery you're going to want to locate the cca sometimes it will say something else but in our case it says cca and in this case it's 180 cca so with that being said we're going to put that down. We're going to get our meter and we're going to hook it up. Black to negative, red to positive. And I always like to check these out of vehicle. They can be in the vehicle, but you'll see. Check, we'll click out of vehicle. And we're going to check ours is a gel battery. Yours, if you have a lead battery, you're going to want to go regular flooded. Ours is gel. We're going to click CCA. 
I already have it 180 we're gonna test it this is quick and easy and painless now it says 180 amp CCA 100% so our battery is good 96 98% charged 12.88 volts so we know we have a good battery there guys now we exit that if you want to check you put in vehicle this is going to give you a battery test a cranking test and a charging test this will test your alternator it will also test your starter too and it will test other functions of the battery but we know this is a brand new battery it should be good it passed tests so guys real quick my camera is going to die those of you with the cf moto machines the z-force machines you've seen the little light comes on it looks like a spark plug it's actually an EFI light, it's an injector light, or a fuel system light. CF Moto, for whatever reason, they also use that light as a voltage warning light. If that light comes on solid, doesn't flash, just stays solid. Sometimes you notice it come on, sometimes you notice it go off. That is indicating to you that your battery voltage could be low, or your cranking amp could be low so my advice to you is if you let your machine sit for a while or if you was running hard at night you had your stereo cranking you had all your lights on your charging system may not be able to keep up with all that so naturally it's going to draw some current from the battery and it's going to bring the battery down below nominal voltage and the machine is going to pick that up it's going to flash that light at you so if you get that light and you know you've been running some lights and stuff Turn all that off as much as you can, run the machine, let it fully charge the battery, that light should go out. But if it doesn't go out, pick you up one of these, locate your battery, it's on the back driver's side of the machine behind a cover, super easy to find and locate. And you will be able to check to see if your battery is still good. You'll be able to check to see if those terminals is okay, if everything's tight. If those terminals crack, I actually had those terminals crack on both my machines. I, they also did it on this machine's battery too. So I'm super excited to try out this battery. I will have links down below to this battery that we can go kind of check it out and read out about it and everything. But I want to thank you guys for stopping by. This was a quick tip for you and I hope it helps you and brings some light to you. Thanks for watching Redneck Garage YouTube channel. As always, see you in the next one peace out god bless like share subscribe and click that bell guys peace